For the past few years now, every Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday, we welcome our newly baptized, confirmed, and received First Holy Communion through the rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, known as RCIA. Although RCIA is common in the U.S., this is a more recent practice for us in our diocese because majority of our brothers and sisters in the Catholic faith were baptized as babies. Those newly initiated into our Catholic faith, known as neophytes, are our new witnesses in the resurrection of the Lord. They are the living proof of the resurrection, who are now ready to share their faith journey. They are filled with excitement. They are now willing to proclaim the risen Christ in their day-to-day -day living. They are now willing to share their own stories of faith and hopefully inspire others to join our RCIA program for next year. Our diocese is blessed to have these newly initiated members of our Catholic faith. While most recent survey in the U.S. indicates that Catholic loss continues to be the highest among all religious groups, we continue to have increasing numbers of adults and young adults in our RCIA. In the entire U.S., around one quarter of Americans, 26%, identify as religiously unaffiliated that is not belonging to any religion in 2023, a 5% point increase from 21% in 2013. Nearly one in five Americans left a religious tradition to become religiously unaffiliated. And so we are grateful. We welcome our new witnesses of the risen Lord, our neophytes from the RCIA program. Those of us who have received the sacrament of initiation many years ago, let us continue to be witnesses of the risen Christ. In our first reading today, we've heard Peter say that those with me can witness to everything Jesus did. We are those witnesses, not just our newly baptized and confirmed, but all of us believers. We stand in the tradition of the apostles as witnesses of Jesus. The word witness is mentioned four times in our first reading today in the Acts of the Apostles. According to scriptures, to witness means that we see something or someone. Then we hear a word and interprets what we have seen. Having seen and heard, we then believe like the disciples. We put our faith in our words. Then we understand what God is up to. Witnessing then is seeing, hearing, believing, and understanding. All these lead to proclamation and the great joy of Easter. May we proclaim the risen Lord in our words and in our deeds. Happy Easter to all. Feliz Pascuan Resurrección.